Hello everyone, I'm Stormwatch Team Meteorologist Michelle Powers and I have an update to the daytime meteor that we saw in the tri-state area, the one that basically disintegrated right over New York City. So how rare is something like that? Well, according to NASA, Earth gets hit a lot. More than 100 tons of dust and small particles come through daily and at times we can see very large meteors about the size of a football field and those happen about every 2,000 years or so but occasionally they are a little bit smaller and about the size of an automobile that happens once a year and we see those big fireballs. Well yesterday NASA estimated that meteor to be about a foot and that was a smaller one, but still big enough to be seen during the daytime and cause a sonic boom. So what happens to those large meteors? Is someone watching out for us? And yes, they are. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office, NASA tracks them. They have early detection systems of those asteroids and comets. They're all tracked and organized. And these are the large ones, about 30 to 50 meters in size. Now, some people were speculating that the meteor that came through was part of the Perseid meteor shower. Well, technically that starts in late July, but the peak of the shower is in August, August 12th through the 13th. So by the second week in August, they become way more numerous and you really need a dark sky to see a lot of those. But since there are always space rocks around, you never know. Always look up and let me know what you see. In the Weather Center, I'm Stormwatch Team Meteorologist Michelle Powers.